In competitive windsurfing, the quality of the waves is key. This is Timo Mullen, former British and world champion, chasing the Atlantic breakers off the Isle of Lewis. But just a few days ago, he was in Hawaii till he had to make a decision. While I was there, the weather forecast in, Ty uh, in Hawaii started to go a little bit off the boil, you know, like just no wind and no waves. And uh, I knew the boys were heading up here, and I looked at the forecast when I was in Hawaii, and I went, do you know what? I'd rather be in Lewis than Hawaii, strange that that may sound. So this week, three of the world's best pro windsurfers have been saying aloha to the Hebrides. Conditions are really nice. Um, we've got lovely sunshine and uh, a decent amount of wind, and the swell's still pretty massive. Yesterday was really big, but uh, today the waves are looking really nice. The annual Tyree Wave Classic is a well-established competition on the international windsurfing circuit. But here's the evidence that other parts of Scotland could also attract the sports enthusiasts. This is probably the best place I've been in the UK, particularly this, this bay. I mean, as, as Ross said, we, we drove around a little around the islands, um, checked out Harris. There's potential everywhere. So this week, the Western Isles win over Waikiki Beach. But just where are those hula skirts and coconut palms? Craig Anderson, reporting Scotland.